Oh, hello. My name is Finn, and for the past four years, I have been an engineer in training, which means I'm working for an engineering firm, but I'm working underneath a professional engineer who is licensed. And since I'm four years out from my degree, that means that the time has come where I can go in and test for my license. And that's what I did. And for the past three months, I basically put my life on hold as best as I could in order to prepare for this exam. And as I was preparing, I was also filming. And that is what the remainder of this video is going to be. So before I actually started studying, I went through and I made a plan of everything I wanted to study in the months leading up to the exam. I never really had to worry about what I was studying next because I already had it like pre-planned. Although throughout the studying process, I was mindful that these things can change. Just because I made a plan in the beginning doesn't mean that has to be the exact same plan that I have in the end. We're allowed to have that flexibility of making changes as we go along. And I'm glad I did it this way because as I was going through, I found that some of my study methods weren't as impactful as others, and so I was able to adjust as I went. So I've kind of come to a realization recently as I've been trying to take better care of myself. Um, I've kind of learned that studying isn't always just about doing practice problems or looking up material or taking notes. There's just, there's so much more that goes into it because I've always been really bad at taking tests. Um, for, for some reason, just the format of, of a test, it just, it's, it doesn't work for me. With my licensing test, I'm allowed to bring my own notes um, and my own reference material. That's led to a lot of reflection of what comfortability means to me with regard to test taking. I think the biggest thing for me is just knowing where the information is and where it can be found. And so that's why when I think of studying, not only am I thinking of notes and problems, but I'm also thinking of organizing my reference book or indexing my problems just so when it's in the moment and I'm in the exam, I can feel comfortable knowing that I know where this information is. Um, and I think that will just make me feel a lot better as I, as I go into this. And so that's kind of what I'm focusing on today. I have three weeks before my exam, so it's kind of like, it's crunch time. As I was moving through this study period, I kind of developed a ritual. This led to me only lighting specific candles or listening to certain playlists or drinking a certain kind of tea or cider only when I was studying. And the goal was to create some kind of like sensory association between this ritual and the information I was studying, which in turn would help me retain it better. <sighs> Got a new candle, feel like a new man. <laughs> no, that's so dumb. <laughs> It's like one in the afternoon and it's like dark outside and thundering. Spooky. It's pretty. I love thunderstorms. Anyway, back, back to studying. And so I found that very quickly, my life became this repetitive cycle where I would wake up in the morning, I would go to work, I would get off work, I would study, then I would watch Netflix or some kind of show, and then I would go to bed every single day for weeks at a time. Like I, I would do little things here and there, but for the most part, my mind was just constantly focused on this test. And I started feeling like I was digging myself into this rut. And to be honest, I was starting to feel depressed, hopeless. 
like this studying was just never going to end. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was thinking about this 24 seven. Even when I was at work, I was thinking about it. When I was studying, I was thinking about it. When I was with friends, I was thinking about it. When I was with family, I was thinking about it. It just completely consumed my identity as a person. In that time, I wasn't thin anymore. I was just studying. But thankfully though, I've been in these kind of situations before and I had an idea of how to get myself out of it. And it wasn't as complicated as it could seem. I basically just took an afternoon off. I decided not to study and to go out and go hiking. The summer heat was finally lessening. There's trails right by my house. I love hiking. And so I went out and just did it. I needed to get that exercise. I needed to get that fresh air. I needed to feel actual sunlight on me. And honestly, it was exactly what I needed. Even with sunglasses, the sun is still super bright. If only I had some kind of device that could block the sun from my face. Work smarter, not harder, kids. I needed a break. Like, as good as it is to be productive, to be studying, to feel like you're doing something, it is equally as important to give yourself rest. So when I got back, I felt great. I felt refreshed. I felt recharged, reset. And most of all, I felt ready to get back into the swing of things, which was an incredible feeling. Until. <laughs> God, I feel like shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do you have something to say? You know, I woke up yesterday with like a really sore throat. As, as the day progressed, like I just kept feeling like worse and worse. Like my throat and my head started hurting and I started getting like these really bad muscle soreness. I swear to God, if this is COVID, I am going to be so pissed. My license exam is in a week and a half and I don't know if I can reschedule it because I only offer this exam twice a year. In the moment, it just felt like the world was collapsing. It was so hard just to try and look a week into the future and think, I'm going to be okay. It was almost unfair how immediately my mind just went into like catastrophe mode and started just thinking of the worst case scenario. Like to put this in perspective, I had been preparing for this for three months and here I was less than two weeks away, so sick. And I'm all out of like my day cool night cool and like cough stuff so i have to go and get that uh, it's gonna be okay it's gonna be everything's gonna be okay very well said very well said bud <laughs> I guess I'm getting out of bed. That's a visual representation of how my throat feels right now. It felt like this opportunity to take this test was just slowly getting pulled away. I was just so disappointed, purely just for the fact of how much work I had put into it at that point. In the moment, it felt like all of it was for nothing. Hey, no, bud. No, oh, I love you so much. Good morning. 
So I'm on like day three or four of being sick. Um, yeah. I mean, right now I'm just like, my throat is just trashed. I got a headache, like my face hurts. Um, I feel so nauseous right now. Um, perfect conditions to go to work for the day. Um, not go into the office, but work from home. My exam is in 10 days and I just, I, I can't be sick and I can't miss this, like. Ooh, cover the logo. So not COVID, but just common cold. Great. I still feel like shit, but I feel like less shit than I did a couple days ago. Um, my voice is kind of coming back, so that's cool. And so uh, the show must go on. I'm almost, I am almost done. I am almost through all of this study material. So close. In two days, I'll be done, done studying new things, and then I can just review, take this fucking exam, and be done with it. I was so burned out by the end, just exhausted. In the days leading up to the exam, I knew it was so close, but it still felt like it was so far away. It was feeling like I was never going to get my life back or to get myself back. But then suddenly it was the day before. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Happy day before license exam day. So I took the day off work and now I'm just gonna basically spend the majority of the day just reviewing everything that I've done and kind of like refreshing it. Um, Cause I'm gonna look at the problems I did and the notes I took, but then also go through like my prep book as well just to make just to make sure i know where everything is and then hopefully tomorrow i can just go in take this and pass it and then never have to do this again at that point i knew that i had done everything that i could do i felt confident in the material that i had studied i knew my notes were well thought out they were organized i had gone through all of my practice problems And after that, all that was left to do was to take the exam. Good morning, happy exam day. It is so early. It is five, ooh. It is 5.30. I was about to complain about how early it is, but this is how early I get up for work. With regard to how sick I was feeling last week, I feel like perfectly fine now. Um, my voice still hasn't completely come back, so I'm just gonna pop a couple cough drops and hope that that makes me sound okay. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be, so might as well just not worry about it, so. See, the challenge <laughs> The challenge is that I know I need to eat something before I go, but I just I never feel hungry this early, like even when I get up for work. So like I feel like if I eat I'm just gonna feel sick. Also, I got a new watch just for this exam because you can't bring smartwatches in, so I had to go and get a ye old analog. All right, it's go time. Hey, I love you, bud. I love you. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back.
should not have checked that while I was at work. was expected. Yep. I failed that. Honestly, that's not how I wanted this video to go. I was just really hoping it could be a story where you put in all this work, you spend all this time, you, you take the test, you pass it, you're successful in the end, you're triumphant, and it's a happy ending. But that's, that's not how it went. I'm disappointed, for sure. I'm frustrated. Maybe there's a little shame in there. I'm in denial that I have to go through all of that studying again. I guess in life, sometimes you just don't get it the first try. And that's okay. I'm gonna take a break from it all for now. I'll take it again in April, but I just don't, just don't wanna think about it right now. But yeah, so thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for getting this far. This is a long video. My name is Finn, and I'll see you in the next video.